Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Keep it together, legs! Gotta get around him! Oh. Oh, get me back! Oh, no, not that oh. Really? Oh, that reminds me of a piece of war. Yeah, it like we never left Verdi. Flat freight. Pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you? <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? I'm looking for Ciri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale, what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chocked full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Aha! A note from a grateful news. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul is yearning cords. Huh. <laughs> this the loot he got from the elves of Dolbothana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. The From faculty the of Oxford vineyards, University every last one. is honored no to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz. 
Viscount de Letinov. The title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. The terrible themselves did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught us fine to Yodel and I. Ugh, another. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead, not your concern. Go. Now. Now listen. You might have two swords, but there's four of us. Yeah, four men collecting tribute from one washerwoman. Don't think I have much to fear. Best think again. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Relax, it'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry, didn't think about that. The woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh well. I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments, too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... 
Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lying scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Doxide thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. 
He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. Trousers or a vest? You know where to find me. This Baronet's love for Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavellet, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emery's? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then! We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retainian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. Bolte acquired him recently. I know little about him. Though, Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. 
Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Radovid's encamped nearby. Redanian Chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Riders ready! Come on, Witcher! Let's see what you're made of! Faster. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Sick. Sick of it all. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But. <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why'd he need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I 
I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Ah, Geralt! What can I do for you? Big changes afoot in the Empire. You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an empress needs an emperor at her side. My father will ensure the right man is chosen. Farewell. Holding. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. What do you want? I'm the new cook. And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your cleavers? Away with you, vagrant. 
Didn't hear me tell you he ain't looking for no cook. Sod off. Downright melancholy. See men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you, and I'd advise you. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But, miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat, he is. See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now take Master de Bergerac to the training room, quickly. As you say, miss. Hope you realize what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. The ambassadors, oh. follow me. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. 
He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Come on! should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Vaatra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Take it Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? Dying of boredom. Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion, Rosa's betrothed. Edna! Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade. 
and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Changing subjects. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher.